about 13.8 billion years. This is the age of the universe. So what if we build a time machine and travel back 14 billion years? What will we see? There are three important and discussed theories about this subject. Theory 1. The Big Bounce Cyclic Universe The Big Bounce is one of the most fascinating alternatives to the idea that the Big Bang was the absolute beginning. Instead of a single creation event, it suggests that the universe goes through endless cycles of birth, growth, collapse, and rebirth. Here's how it works step by step. Right now, observations show that our universe is expanding. Galaxies are moving away from each other and the space between them is stretching. This expansion is not slowing down like it's actually speeding up, driven by something we call dark energy. Dark energy is a mysterious force that pushes space itself to expand and it makes up about 70% of the total content of the universe. But what if this expansion doesn't last forever? What if, at some point in the very distant future, the effect of dark energy changes or weakens? Then the pull of gravity, caused by all the matter in the universe, stars, galaxies, black holes, even dark matter, could eventually overcome expansion. If gravity wins over dark energy, the universe would begin to slow its expansion, stop, and then reverse. Space would start contracting, galaxies would get closer together, Cosmic structures would collapse inward, and eventually everything, matter, radiation, and space itself, would be drawn back into a smaller and smaller region. This process is called the Big Crunch, the opposite of the Big Bang. All of existence would be squeezed into an extremely hot, dense state, just like the one we think existed at the very beginning. And then, here's the key point, instead of staying collapsed, the universe could bounce back. Out of that dense state, another Big Bang would occur, launching a brand new cycle of expansion. The universe would grow again, form galaxies, stars, and possibly even life, until far in the future it collapses again. In this view, the universe may have no true beginning and no final end. Instead, it has always existed, going through an infinite loop of Big Bangs and Big Crunches. Theory 2. String Theory and Higher Dimensions String theory is one of the most ambitious attempts to describe all of nature's forces with one framework. Instead of treating particles as tiny points, string theory suggests that everything is made of incredibly small vibrating strings. The way these strings vibrate determines whether we see them as matter, light, or other fundamental forces. Now here's where it connects to the Big Bang. String theory does not only need the three dimensions of space and one of time. For the math to work, it requires additional dimensions possibly 10 or even 11 in total. Most of these dimensions are hidden from our view, curled up so small that we cannot detect them. According to one idea within this theory, our universe is like a three-dimensional membrane, or brain for short, floating inside this higher dimensional space. But we may not be alone. Other brains could also exist, parallel to ours, separated by only a tiny distance in a higher dimension that we cannot perceive. If two of these brains move and eventually collide, the collision would release a colossal amount of energy. That release could look, from our perspective, like a sudden Big Bang, filling space with hot radiation and matter. So, in this view, our Big Bang was not the beginning of everything. Instead, it was the result of higher dimensional physics. What's interesting is that if this is true, it also means the universe could go through multiple cycles of brain collisions, each one creating a new Big Bang-like event. Our universe might just be one chapter in a much larger, multi-dimensional story. Theory 3. No before at all. Some scientists argue that the question, what was before the Big Bang, might not even make sense. Here's why. In physics, time itself is tied to the structure of the universe. According to Einstein's general relativity, space and time are connected. They form what we call space-time. And space-time began with the Big Bang. That means the Big Bang wasn't just the start of matter, energy, and galaxies, it was also the beginning of time. In this picture, asking what came before the Big Bang is like asking what's north of the North Pole. There simply is no direction further north. The question stops making sense. So if this view is correct, then there was no before. The universe and time itself started at the Big Bang. This idea is powerful because it sets a clear boundary. The Big Bang wasn't just an explosion in space, it was the start of space and time itself. Beyond it, physics as we know it can't even define what before means. Why do we care about what happened before the Big Bang? 
because it could explain why the laws of physics are the way they are and why the universe allows life at all. If we understood the origin, we could understand whether our universe is unique or just one of many possible universes. I am very interested in your opinion about this subject, so please share it in the comments. If you want to learn more about our universe, I recommend to take a look at this video's See You.